Hi, we're in the middle of London Fashion Week, my favourite time of year. Now there is a whole new host of up and coming designers, some hot, some not. But they've said London is one of the most fashionable cities in the world. Is this true? Let's go find out. I'm standing outside of the Covent Garden Astrology Bookshop, established in 1989, stocking over 1,500 astrological titles. But we're not here to talk books. I'm here to speak to shop owner Barry Street, who is an astrologer with over 20 years' experience in the field. I want to understand what are the new hype is about astrology, and is it true? Can it predict my future? Exciting. Well, you want a little Quite bit thrilling. of depth to the bedspread. You want it to kind of jump out at you and not just look. And I think that's what Sharon is so good at. You can see, you know, we have bunched it up with all these pillows. And there's just so much. It's just got character to it. The, the sun sign is what you're aspiring to be. The sun right. sign is, it, you know, it, it's not quite the ego, but it, it's like the life force. Yeah. When you're sunny and happy, yeah. you're your sun sign. Do you think London is the most fashionable city in the world? Yeah, definitely. You do? Yeah. yeah? Um, yeah, maybe. I kind of think New York might be. Might be? I always think that's probably the truth. Absolutely. Oh, yes. yes? Do you think London is the most fashionable city in the world? Yes. Yes? <laughs> Pardon? Of course. Of course. We're talking about the glamour, fame, and the high octane lifestyle of Formula One's fastest men. Life in the fast lane. So I'm outside the private rooms of Katie Winterbourne. Now, if you haven't heard of Katie, she's an internationally renowned professional intuitive. Whilst her client list includes those from the media and celebrities, she works with clients from all walks of life. She's also been the subject of much attention and featured in many major magazines due to her unique abilities. So I'm here to find out today exactly what these are and to understand what takes place in one of these sessions. Being a professional intuitive, what's the most exciting thing about your job? The most exciting thing about my job is seeing people really reach their potential. I am continually surprised. It never gets boring. Where I get a little bit dubious about them is I think, well, how can um, you know all the Librans in the world, or all the Sagittarians, apply to that one daily horoscope? It just seems a little bit... That, if, it was, if it was trying to portray an individual's life, then I agree, it's jibber. Yeah. But if you're trying to boost someone's ego, the way that you boost... Specific to that star. Yeah, star exactly. Party. Christmas and New Year's parties are only a couple of weeks away, and I'm here to deliver you some amazing facts about holiday clothing that will make you look fantastic. Chinese New Year 2009 is the year of the ox, so here is everything you need to know about the ox. Does anything kind of just pop out suddenly that... Very rarely does anything really kind of come through, and there has to be quite a lot of energy for it to come through so it's okay. usually if something's up. Are you a high street guy or a designer? Oh just like high street guy, yeah. I don't know, it can vary sometimes, maybe high street I guess. Yes. Yeah. Do you have anything Chanel? I do. You I've do. got a bag that I <laughs> I don't even have a bag. I wish I had a bag. <laughs> it took me very long to save for it. So I think it's fair to say London is the most fashionable city in the world. I'm off to get myself some retail therapy. So from me Jade, see you next week.